My name is Doug McKinley and you're watching Adorama TV. For the past 25 years, I've done a job I love, working as a travel and reportage photographer. Today, we're going to look at the technical aspects of reportage photography, how to plan a day shooting, and how to approach subjects in a non-threatening manner. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. Most good photography comes from good planning. It's all about preparedness, from lens choice, to having spare batteries, to having extra memory cards, and to keeping your sensor nice and clean. And for me, that also means packing the two Ps, patience and perseverance, because good pictures don't happen at the snap of a finger. So let's get started. So you're looking for your shot and an opportunity presents itself, but somehow you fluff the technical side. Could have chosen the wrong lens, the wrong aperture, or the wrong shutter speed. So in order to get those great shots, we have to get the grips of the technical side of our cameras. The three main exposure modes are aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual. In aperture priority, the photographer chooses the F number and the camera chooses the shutter speed. In shutter priority, the, the photographer chooses the shutter speed and the camera chooses the F number or the lens opening. In manual, the photographer chooses both lens opening and shutter speed. In this mode, the photographer has the most control. The two primary shooting modes are continuous and one shot. But for our purposes, we're going to use continuous. It's like a motor drive. It gives us the opportunity to shoot many frames in a row and hopefully within that group of pictures, one will be tack sharp. Excuse me, ladies. Would you mind if I took a few pictures? Do you, do you live around here? Is this where you... Is this part, this part of London you all live here? Yeah, okay, great. And there's a... I mean, it's a little intimidating, I know, when you, somebody shoves a camera in your face, but, but it's uh, unfortunately part of my job, so... <laughs> there you go. One more? Look, look at me one more time. There you go. That's it. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. Robert Kappa, a 20th century war photographer, once said, if your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough. And it's something I firmly believe in. So throw out your inhibitions and get close. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest where you could win some amazing prizes. So I finally found an interesting subject. And by now, we understand the camera mechanics a little better. We've looked at shutter speeds, we've looked at apertures, and we looked at the continuous shooting mode. So by now you think it's just a matter of pressing the button. However, there are a couple other little things we have to look at. ISO being one of them. We need to have a high enough ISO setting in any given light to achieve a fast enough shutter speed to avoid any kind of blur in the pictures. Also, you need to create a rapport with your subject. You must create a relationship, no matter how fleeting, in order to get those great pictures. Because as soon as that rapport dies, the pictures fall flat in their face. 10 year waiting list, is it? Oh, the fact next to King has it. Who's Mr. King? Next to King. Oh, next to King. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And who, you, and who are you passing it on to? Well, one of my children, but I don't know if they've got the ethic, you know. Are they, oh, okay. we're not kids yeah. these days, hey? Yeah. That's a great shot, but it can be improved. We have a great shot of a lady, but with a really distracting background, a white van. People often forget their backgrounds, arguably as important as your subject. In my opinion, the backgrounds can be the trickiest part of any image. Sharp backgrounds can be confusing for the viewer. They don't really have a clear idea where to look. Whereas an intentionally blurred background, shallow depth of field using a large aperture, focuses the viewer on the part of the image the photographer wants to highlight. Thank you for joining us today. I hope I've given you lots to think about. Not just about the technical aspects of your camera, but also how to plan a shoot and deal with subjects. You can also subscribe to Adorama TV, where we have lots of great information about photography and other products. We'd love to know what you think, so please get in contact. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.